In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can rank your Wix website on the first page of Google and massively increase your organic traffic. I'll run you through the Wix seven step SEO on page and off page checklist. Follow this process and your site can be ranked on the first page of Google in just 24 hours. I'll also show you how to build authority and trust with Google. This will further increase the organic traffic to your website over time. To do this, we're going to get backlinks. I'm going to show you how to get 100 backlinks in 10 days guaranteed. With this massive increase in organic traffic, you can sell, promote and market whatever you like. Let's go. Okay, we've got seven items on our SEO checklist. So the first one is we need to update our page title meta descriptions to be between 55 and 70 characters. So I've just logged into a demo Wix store here. Once you're in here, just head over to menus and pages. And if we're going to update the page title for the home page, we just click on the three dots here and we'll go to SEO basics. This here is the page title tag. And what we want is for to be between 55 and 70 characters. So let's just do that. So there we go. You can see here we're at 56 characters, so we're good to go. We'll hit save on that one. Now it's important to note, you have to do this with every page on your website and also all product pages. So next on our checklist, just click on menus and pages. We'll do it for the home page here, SEO basics. And here is the page description meta tag area where we can update it in Wix. We want the text in here to be between 130 and 150 characters. So let me just do that now. So I've entered that text in and you can see a preview up here. This is how it's going to look on Google in the search results. So with our title and description done, we can move on to checklist item number three. Our Wix store is selling wireless headphones. So we need to find some keywords and phrases to target to see if we can rank for those words on the first page of Google. Today, we're gonna to be using SEMrush for our keyword research. If you haven't used SEMrush before, it's really easy but it's really powerful. There are so many features. We're only going to cover a little bit of it today, but I will put a link in the description for a free account. You can see over here, I've selected keyword overview and I've typed in wireless headphones. The important things to note on this page are the volume. We've got massive volume for this keyword. So that's a good thing. Next is the keyword difficulty. Now, sometimes this is referred to as KD. A KD of 56% that's difficult, but I think we can still do this. It says here, you'll need to have 34 referring domains and optimized content. So what we're talking about today is actually to go through the process to get this content optimized. And we're going to have close to a hundred, if not more than a hundred referring domains once we've, once we've done and we complete the process. I think we can still do this. If we have a look over here, this CPC, every free click we get to our website is worth 47 cents US. That is what you're going to pay on Google on average for a pay per click campaign. Down here, here are the keywords and some of the variations. What we do here is take a note of these keywords and the variations. And these are going to be the keywords and phrases that we are going to use within our site and optimize our content. So the next step is we want to update our content on our Wix website with as many of the keywords and keyword variations and the keyword phrases that we can. So we have these keyword variations here. We have related keywords and we also have some questions. And we will, what we want to do ideally is get as many of these keywords, phrases and questions into our site's content as possible. So if we go across to our homepage here, you can see I've tried to get some of these terms into our content where it makes sense as much as possible. So into our headings, into our text, also in the outlines of our product, we've got wireless headphones here. This can take a while and you don't want to overdo it. It needs to make sense but you need to get those keywords, variations, and the phrases in, in every possible place you can on every single page. Okay, so we've updated our titles, our descriptions, we've identified our keywords and phrases, and now we've put that through our website content as best we can, but that's probably not enough to get us on the first page of Google. What we need to do now is draft and publish a blog. I'm not much of a writer. To put something together that contains all of our keywords, our Related keywords is not that easy, but there is a tool that can help. I use 
Jasper. It's an AI document writer to actually draft my blogs. It can write the entire thing. You just give it some preliminary information around what the blog is going to be about and it will draft that content. If you would like to give Jasper a try, I'll put a link in the description and it will give you a free trial. So in addition to Jasper, there's another tool we can use that will then optimize for AI written content and it is really good. So this is Surfer SEO. And once you've got your draft blog, what you want to do is paste it into Surfer's content editor. And it's going to tell you if you need to add more words, heading, paragraphs, and it will give you a content score. If you get that content score in the green or above 68, you're highly likely to rank on Google. The whole goal of the blog is to have a piece of content that will be ranked by Google and get on the first page and drive organic traffic to your site. So now we've got our content into our site and our blog. The next step is we want to audit this content and just refine it a little bit further. And the best way to do that is with the Surfer SEO audit tool. Basically what you do is you enter each URL into the audit tool and it's going to give you the information you need to improve it even further. So for example, it can tell you what keywords are missing from a particular page or there might be too many on a page. It'll tell you to add the words or remove them. It will also tell you how you're comparing against your organic competitors. So you'll know where your expected ranking will be based on your current content. The Surfer SEO audit tool is very powerful. I've gone through this in other videos, which you might want to check out. This is the last item on our SEO checklist for Wix. We need to connect the Google Search Console to our Wix store. This is really easy. Just basically Google, Google Search Console, and it'll bring you here. And the reason we want to do this is we want to force a re-indexing and a recrawl of your Wix website. We don't want to wait months for Google to get around to scan it. So this process will allow it to be forced to be re-indexed and then those updates are going to make their way through as soon as possible. It's also important to point out that Wix does offer a lot of SEO tools and it has improved a lot over the last few years. If you follow the Wix SEO tools processes, it definitely is helpful, but it's not going to get you ranking on the first page of Google. To get onto the first page, you really need to level up your SEO game. You need to get that content targeted around your keywords, run surfer over it to ensure you've got a high content score and it'll identify any other issues and you are good to go. If you're looking for links to any of the apps mentioned in this video, you can find them in the description or via this link on my YouTube channel. You can get links for a free SEMrush account, free Jarvis trial, Surfer SEO account. You can also join my private group and get support on your next project. If you like this content, it would be great if you smash that like button and also consider subscribing to my channel. I publish content like this a few times every month. What are backlinks and why do we care? Well, backlinks are like votes that tell Google that a particular website is trustworthy and the content on the site is valuable, credible, and useful. So the more of these votes you have, the higher your site will rank on Google and the more organic traffic you're going to get. So there are a number of different ways to get backlinks. This is a blog from SEMrush and you can see here, they suggest you could create highly shareable content. You could follow trends. You could do a guest posting. We don't have time for that. These processes take a lot of time and they can actually take a lot of money. What I prefer to do is use this service here. It's called Brand Featured. And basically what they do is they draft a press release for you around your for your business or service or for your products, whatever the case may be. This press release gets sent out and it will be published to over a hundred news outlets and it generates the backlinks and it also can drive a lot of traffic to your store when it's released. If we have a look at the pricing, they've got three plans as basic, pro and unlimited. When I've used brand featured, I've used the pro service. If you're thinking, well, what is the impact of doing this? If I jump over here and look at one of my online stores. I actually went through this process in February 2021 and I had organic traffic sort of in February of between 36 and 79. Then a couple of months later, my organic traffic was nearly a thousand clicks a month. And here are the backlinks here. And there is the organic search traffic. If you follow all of these processes, the SEO checklist, add the backlink, you are going to drive massive organic traffic to your site. And just to give you an idea of what the press release will look like, this is an 
actual press release from Brand Featured. If you got some value from this vid, it would be awesome if you hit the like button. And also consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. If you got any questions, let me know below. Also, this video here goes into a little bit more detail about SEO if you want to check it out.